For two Americans who share the Nobel Prize in medicine, the news came in similar fashion. I was asleep. Okay. Now, in past years, I have not been asleep on such occasions, but the calls didn't arrive. As a result, I gave up. I went to sleep very nicely. Phone rang at 1.30 this morning. Uh, I was dead asleep. Uh, I heard sort of a vague noise. I heard Nancy yell out, this is it, this is it. I jumped up. Uh, uh, my heart was pounding. James Rothman of Yale and Randy Sheckman of the University of California, Berkeley, received the honor, along with Thomas Sudoff of Stanford, a German citizen. The men illuminated how tiny bubbles inside cells shuttle key substances around like a vast and highly efficient fleet of vans. They deliver the right cargo to the right place at the right time. Scientists believe the research could eventually lead to new medicines for epilepsy, diabetes, and other metabolism deficiencies. Rothman noted that he began his career when federal funding for scientific research was strong. I had five years of failure, really, and before I had the first initial sign of success, and I'd like to think that that kind of support uh, existed today, but I think there's less, less of it. He called the lack of funding a pressing national issue. The three winners will share $1.2 million in prize money. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.